Between the dates of July 6th and July 28th, 2008, NOAA's Office of National Marine Sanctuaries, in collaboration with East Carolina University, the UNC Coastal Studies Institute, Minerals Management Service, the National Park Service, and the state of North Carolina conducted an underwater archaeological field expedition on the remains of three vessels from the Battle of the Atlantic and World War II. The sites explored during this expedition included the U-85, U-352, and U-701, three German U-boats that were sunk in 1942 during engagements with American forces. Each of these three sites can be found in 100 to 115 feet of water off the coast of North Carolina in an area commonly called the Graveyard of the Atlantic. This was the closest theater of war to the continental United States and one of the only places in the world when one can visit the remains of both Axis and Allied vessels within recreational diving limits. These sites are recognized as valuable cultural, historical, and economic resources for the United States and the state of North Carolina. It is the intent of this project to catalog the significance of the sites and identify degrading impacts from both environmental and cultural factors. The data gained from this expedition will serve as a baseline for future monitoring and scientific research, as well as provide the basis for future management of these important resources. Archaeologists and divers use several methods to catalog and map each of the German U-boat sites. Photo and video documentation were valuable tools used to create detailed site plans and photo mosaics. Physical mapping and measurements were also taken on site, focusing on major features and degradation of the wreck. A combination of these methods produced accurate site plans from both the plan and profile views and provided archaeologists with a better understanding of the current state of the sites. While each of the sites have been exposed to physical degradation from environmental conditions, they have also experienced damage and loss of valuable historical artifacts to souvenir hunters within the recreational diving community. The results of this project will be used to assess these cultural impacts and communicate the importance of site preservation for the enjoyment of future generations. This is the first of a multi-year project focusing on the important historical sites of the Battle of the Atlantic. Phase two of the project will begin in the summer of 2009.